In United States v. Allegheny Ludlam Industries, the court pondered the federal government's authority to negotiate settlements of employment discrimination charges in nationwide industries. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission sued nine major steel companies and the United Steel Workers of America, alleging that the industry had engaged in hiring and job discrimination. The EEOC claimed that the companies violated Title VII of the Civil Rights Act by hiring minorities and women for low-paying and undesirable jobs and that the union created collective bargaining contracts that deprived minorities and women of opportunities for advancement. The parties settled the lawsuit and summed up their solutions in two consent decrees. Consent Decree 1 required immediate changes in seniority rules, established timetables, and established a back pay fund for workers injured by discrimination. Consent Decree 2 required the companies to implement affirmative action programs to rectify workplace imbalances. The EEOC would review all pending charges and conciliate claims not wholly within the scope of the decrees, while recommending that those that were accept the back pay. The government and the commission considered these decrees sufficient to bring the companies and union in compliance with Title VII. The consent decrees didn't bind individual plaintiffs by race judicata, but individuals who accepted back pay gave up their right to sue. Several groups of plaintiffs in actions then pending before various district courts moved to intervene and vacate the consent decrees. The groups, which included individuals and representatives of the feminist group the National Organization of Women, protested that the consent decrees didn't release claims of individual employees and that the commission had abdicated its statutory duty by entering into the decrees. They argued that employees suing individually could get higher back pay awards than provided by the decrees. The district court held that the groups had no right to intervene and upheld the validity of the consent decrees. The interveners appealed to the Fifth Circuit.